Welcome to Girl Talk. This is our second episode in our first season. Exciting show. My name's Janet Crescent, and I'm here with my best friends, our hosts for Girl Talk. This is Kirsten Goggin, Elise Edwards, and Jessa Jeremiah. You've seen her face before on CW. Love saying your name, Jess. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's yeah, such a fun name. Blows. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're all really excited to be here. I know I'm excited to be here because the 11-year-old in me just is still ever-present, love to learn, love sharing it with people. Why are you excited, Kirsten? Well, you know, it's only our second episode, and there's just so much I've already learned about, you know, business opportunities for men and women that, you know, I, didn't, I wish I knew were available when I started my business six years ago, and fitness tips, and home remodel projects, and weddings, it's so fun, it's just, uh, just really exciting. I have to agree. Living in Madison, and yet there's so much out there that we yeah. don't know about. Right. That's oh what gosh. makes this really fun. So many untapped resources. Right. right. Absolutely. I mean, I'm in my first month of owning my own business now, mm -hmm. and if I had only known about that Wisconsin <laughs> Women's Initiative yeah. Yeah. Business Corporation, gosh, it would have been such a, a useful tool. Not that it's not now. I can absolutely mm -hmm. um, use that as a resource, but very exciting to be here. Oh yeah, I totally agree. I mean, there's so many cool things that we're going to get to learn and find out as we progress here on the show and, um, you know, just such cool guests that we're going to mm -hmm. have on. I mean, this show really is a go-to for females of all kinds, mm -hmm. about all kinds of different topics and issues that affect women. So, I mean, for the stay-at-home mom, for mm -hmm. the businesswoman, for, you know, every people marriage tips you know we're mm -hmm. going to go through the run through the rundown of everything on this show as the season goes on and this is the beginning of it all so you know i'm just so excited to get to share this with you guys and um i got you know three awesome um hosts <laughs> to share this experience with and we've got so much cool stuff planned so I mean, I wish we could just fast forward and find out what was going to happen like six, seven episodes down the way, but we don't know. This is just number mm -hmm. two. We, we can talk about today, though. Yeah, we've, we've got, some got cool stuff. Uh, We've got Sue Klein from Klein's Floor Greenhouse. Uh, mm -hmm. That's East Washington Avenue. She's going to talk to us all about um, her place. They've been in business for over 100 years. That is yeah, she grew crazy. Up there. That's history. Incredible. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. I read that history. And, that was very and impressive. And East Wash used to be called Sun Prairie Drive or something. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. crazy. Lots of history there. Who knew that they mm -hmm. had been around for so long. So. And have you noticed our environment here? We're at Bella Domicile, Gorgeous. another one of our guests. Incredible interior design definitely recommend checking out this place. Oh yeah, these guys are Beautiful. absolutely the, the masters of design and remodel and we are so excited to be here because look mm -hmm. at all, I mean just behind us, but walking throughout this space, it is just impressive, is it not? Uh, oh my gosh. Puts my, my incredible. kitchen to shame. Yeah. Yeah. My, yeah. my fiance is not going to be happy because I've got ideas. Now. Yeah, we have a list yeah. now. That's the problem of course with coming to these places is now you have a list of everything yep. you have to do. And speaking of fiancés, I'm super excited. We've got Brandy's bridal here today. Um, been voted Wisconsin's best for eight years in a row, oh, yeah. so I'm so excited wow. to hear about what she's got going on down there. A 3D runway and champagne toast, I mean, that's yeah. going to be I fun. I can't wait to hear about that. Yeah. Absolutely. Wow, well, we've got all kinds of fun stuff coming up on the show, so right. what are we going to learn today, ladies? <laughs> can't wait for it. Okay. All right, guys, well, we just have a little bit of time left because we've got all sorts of fun things planned, mm -hmm. so... Brandy's Bridal is our next guest, so please stick around because they have all kinds of fun stuff to share with us, and that's gonna be right after the break, so stick around for more Girl Talk. Hi, welcome back to Girl Talk. Thanks for sticking with us. We're here with Brandy Niemer from Brandy's Bridal Galleria. Can you tell us a little bit about your salon? Where are you located? Sure, sure. Well, thanks for having us. Um, we're located in New Glarus. Excellent. How long have you been in business? We're in our 10th year now. Oh, fantastic. Yes. Good for you guys. Yeah. Thank what, you. Um, what separates you and your salon from other bridal salons? Um, we like to say everything. From the moment you walk in the door till the day of your wedding, we're here every step of the way. Our selection and our service are unparalleled to anybody else. Full, full service, sounds yeah. like. Yes. Um, so when a bride is getting ready and she she wants to come visit and look at dresses, what should she know ahead of time? Does she, should she know her measurements or the style of dress that she likes? Sure, sure. No, we want you to know 
when you come in, we'll take care of you. So okay. just relax and have fun. Um, you know, some people get on the internet and find mm -hmm. all kinds of fun ideas and different things they're looking for. They'll bring in pictures or have ideas of mm -hmm. um, what they would like. And if you want to tell us those, we'd love to hear that. Or if you've been trying on dresses at other stores, mm -hmm. we'd like to know that too. And found there, or if you found things you like, let us know what they look like and we'll try and help you find the same well, thing. Well, it sounds like it's very, uh, you know, detailed, full mm -hmm. customer service. It's You probably work by appointment then, right? So that Yes, can cater we, we do needs. typically go by appointment. Okay. Um, we'll never shy away if you don't have an appointment, but just to make sure that you <laughs> get that. Yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> right. <laughs> just to get that one-on-one -on -one service. Sure. And we do have a stylist that would work with you in helping you find what you're looking for. Um, we do definitely suggest appointments. Okay. Yeah. Because you guys give such great service, and it's really nice to have that you know, undivided attention that you guys give. So making an appointment, I think, really helps folks to, you know, you have all the resources yes. available. Mm -hmm. And it's nice to know that we can do as little or as much planning as mm -hmm. really as we want. Right. Wherever we mm -hmm. are in the process, you're going to kind of take it from there and help us find mm -hmm. our way. Definitely. Um, so you help not only just brides, but mm -hmm. the whole party, right? Yes. So what can folks who are at home maybe planning their wedding, getting mm -hmm. started, thinking about what their bridal party is going to look like and all that, um, you know, what do you have to offer if they're going to come in with everybody? Sure. We have something for everyone. Yeah. From the bride, um, even down to her undergarments and shoes and all kinds of fun accessories. We have bridesmaids. We have the largest selection in the state. Actually, Midwest of bridesmaid dresses. That is awesome. And bridal gowns. We have yeah. over 500 bridal gowns and 1,000 bridesmaids dresses. Yeah. Oh down gosh. to moms. We have fun, mm. funky, young, trendy moms dresses, tuxes, <laughs> prom. We got it all. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And I've been over there, and oh my god, you are not kidding about selection. Mm. There are dresses for days for, I mean, bride, bridal mm -hmm. gowns of all kinds, and then, I mean, just the bridesmaid selection yes. it is just absolutely stunning to see mm -hmm. all those dresses lined up. You can't believe they're all in one spot. Mm -hmm. That's so neat. Neither can I. Yeah. <laughs> How do you find them all? Like, uh, Well, we get to go to a lot of different markets, and mm -hmm. we just get to watch runway fashion shows, and it's oh, a lot of fun. <laughs> so what have you seen for 2015? What are the new trends sure. in bridal gowns? Yeah. And we've actually luck been lucky lucky enough to be um, what they call testers for 2015 dresses in oh, bridal oh, gowns cool. and cool. in bridesmaids dresses. So, so we're really excited about that. And um, one thing we're seeing with bridal gowns is, you know, like this dress has layers in it. This dress also has color underneath it. Um, color is becoming very popular now into like, this is like a peony underneath the lace, um, into grays and blues and champagnes, golds, just a lot of color. And then it's just a lot more detail. Everything used to be yeah. strapless. Now there's a lot of straps, shoulder detail, even down to sheer sleeves yeah. that are really fun. You can so get away with a lot, a lot more, on. it seems like Definitely. now. Definitely. You know, yes. Colorful or, things. Yeah, I mean, or, things you didn't yeah. see years ago. Oh, it's, right. You know, even in the last 18 months, everything has just like taken off and brides aren't afraid to try new things now, which is a lot of Our fun. Our grandmother's oh, taking yeah. colored wedding dresses better. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes grandmothers, think? right, sometimes yeah. grandmothers even question ivory versus mm -hmm. white, yeah. but mm -hmm. once they see their granddaughter in a dress of a color, it. then they realize, ooh, that's yeah. fantastic. When and the we, bride lights up, grandma lights up. And mm -hmm. that's the rule, right? If the bride's happy, it's the, yeah, the right. bride rules. It should be the rule, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It should be, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of colors, what's going on with 2015 bridesmaid dresses? Oh, sure. Um, you know, a lot of the same thing. Mm -hmm. The trend right now is bridesmaids all doing different dresses, a lot of the same, doing them in the same color, mm -hmm. but yet now that we are seeing brides do them in all different colors too. Uh -huh. um, but they're also looking at embellishments such as lace on the dress or beading detail or you know just all different lengths they're doing. It's, it's really fun. Well, and how fun to accent, you know, their own personalities and uniqueness right. and also make everyone feel comfortable because yes. the same dress doesn't always look the best on right. every yeah. figure. So. <laughs> yeah. We hear that from almost every bride. I yeah. just want them to be comfortable. Mm -hmm. you know, so it is true. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for being Great. here. Thank we ran you. out of time. Can't yeah. wait to see you again and yeah. stop by at Brandy's Bridal Galleria.
Welcome back to Girl Talk. So we just had uh, Brandy's bridal here and tying right into it goes into flowers. We've got Sue Klein of Klein's Floral here and you've been in business quite some time and I know I always drive past it on East Wash and I've gotten flowers and they've always been gorgeous. Thank you. Um, it's, it's now the fourth, soon to be fourth generation? Third, third generation, I'm third generation and two of my sons want to take over the business, so yes, though. Wow, oh, great. 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 it's incredible. So how long have it, has it been in operation then? My grandparents started the business in 1913, wow. so 101 years ago. That is so incredible. Right at the current location. And you say 13 location. acres, I read. Yes, That's yes, crazy. farmland, yeah. old businesses around. East Washington was this little dirt road, and mm -hmm. my dad and his siblings used to count the cars going by oh, back in the gosh. day. How oh, cool. How you know. you've evolved yes, over the years. Yes, yes, it's but still changed in the same quite spot. a bit. Same and same That's really cool. So That's you, really cool you literally grew up in, I did. in a I green grew up right then, there. in was, the business. What was that like well, growing fun. up? I got to play with yeah. flowers all day long. It was amazing. I can imagine yeah. making bouquets. Yeah. Making oh bouquets for my teacher. Pretending to walk down the aisle, mm -hmm. maybe. Oh, yeah. I made a lot of pretend wedding bouquets. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, what a cool experience. And we all know how great you guys are with floral arrangements and, and all that kind of stuff. But you just spoke to some of the beautiful things that you've gotten and um, you know, you guys have such a great reputation too. But we also want to know about your greenhouse. So I mean right. there's we're so primarily much going on. we're primarily a greenhouse and yeah. we actually have about thirty thousand square feet of oh my greenhouse goodness. space. There's a lot Ooh, of there's wild. greenhouses in the back that we do all of our growing. So we grow most of our annuals and mm -hmm. seasonal crops right there at that location. So we're not shipping them in. So that means that the customer has better success in that garden. That's wonderful. Wow, wow what a That's big crazy. Space. Yeah, you must have a, a lot of employees then I do. to help you During, keep up with well, all that. May is our busiest time of the year mm -hmm. and we have about 40 at that time wow. of the year. Yeah. So, wow. yeah. I have an amazing crew. Amazing. Is there anything um, you know specific to July that you guys are doing with the greenhouse? Do you guys well, have anything? We still have a few of you know the annuals and the garden plants, but right now we are starting our poinsettias for Christmas. Oh, oh my Christmas gosh, is that starts that. early. It does. It's crazy how early you guys have to start. You really have to plan ahead, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely, absolutely. And so we're we're going to um, conferences and all that planning for next spring as well. Wow, you stay product. busy, don't you? I do. Yeah. <laughs> no kidding. At home and work. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness, I'm a busy woman. Well, we're glad you took time out of your your busy life to join us here on Thank Girl you. Talk. So we're it's so excited to have you. Oh yeah, no, we're, we're pleased as punch to have you on the show. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So what are, what's the favorite part of the business for you? Is it like going to the shows and the... My favorite part is designing fresh designing. arrangements. Oh, I love fresh flowers and um, working with families on their special mm -hmm. events, whether it's a wedding or a funeral or a birthday mm -hmm. and you know, making, making people happy. It's just really rewarding. Absolutely. Yeah. So what is your favorite flower? Stargazer Lily is my favorite. Oh, those are beautiful. beautiful. Very fragrant and easy to grow in the garden. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Well, what cool things you guys have going on. Is there anything for viewers at home who maybe haven't been out to climbs in a while? Or maybe have not ever been out to you? Is there something that you really want to share with them about what you guys are, are doing now? Or one of your favorite things, parts of the business? Mm. <laughs> There's probably a million, right? There, there are yeah. a million, and it's just, it's one of those places where you really need to go out. Yeah. It, it's hard to explain it. Yeah, got to check it out, right? You know, right. with all the competition right now, I mean, you can go online and order flowers. You can call them up. What sets you apart? I mean, why should the, we become the personal a touch? It's not a, a recipe arrangement that we make or a plant garden that we send out. You know, it's the personal touch. It's talking with a live person and getting the value from a, a local shop instead of calling up. Right, really, creating, yeah. really mm -hmm. creating something specific mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. And I think the flowers would probably last longer too once you they get do. them, right? Because they they're we, fresher and right. they're not we, being we, shipped. Well, we don't grow our own cut flowers, oh, but okay. those we buy locally when we can. Sure. And so, yes, they're not you know shipped long distances, mm -hmm. so that makes and a I big think difference. Really important to mention too is your people really know their stuff. They you do. Know, when we you, have master gardeners yes. on staff. And absolutely. It's hard for people who you know this isn't something that we do every day. So when you go to order something for somebody for a special occasion, mm -hmm. you don't know what flowers to get for you know for this occasion or that occasion or you know if we're trying to do something special at home so that's why we come to you is because you know everybody there on staff really knows what they're talking about mm -hmm. and we appreciate that because we need your help <laughs> so, <laughs> absolutely just gotta yeah. go to the experts been in business a long time yeah. 
You know exactly what to do for the right occasions and the right arrangements. Um, thank you so very much for coming on and sharing You're your welcome. business with, yeah. with us. And uh, stay tuned, come, come right back. We are here the beautiful Bella Domicile and we're gonna talk about interior design. That's right, more Girl Talk right after the break. Hey guys, welcome back to Girl Talk. Now this is the segment you have been waiting for. So if you have been thinking about remodeling anything in your kitchen or bathroom, these guys are the experts. So we are so blessed to have Carly Miller here who is one of the master designers here at Bella Domicile. So welcome. Thank you. Thank you glad so to be much. here. Yeah, we're Yay. so glad to have you. We're and glad for you to be here. Yeah, we're <laughs> glad to be here and it is just gorgeous. So we're gonna kind of walk some folks at home through some of the spaces that you guys have here while we're talking, but um, we're just thrilled to be here. So, so many people, you know, think about kitchens and bathrooms. I don't know a woman out there that hasn't thought of some <laughs> surface in their house that they want to change, whether it be flooring or cabinets or, you know, sky's the limit, right? So mm -hmm. that's why we're here because we're so excited to talk to you about just that. So okay. you guys actually help all kinds of folks with these designs and remodels mm -hmm. so you see all sorts of people what do you think Carly is one of like the most important things for homeowners that they're thinking about when they come to you about design and remodeling oh man one of the most important things of course is just the function of your space for the way that you live your life maybe the kitchen was designed for somebody that had a total different lifestyle or so long ago that maybe there really wasn't storage for all those gadgets that you have today yeah, absolutely. So many different questions, and I know we've all got questions for you, so I'm not going to hog all that time, but um, at yeah, least you were, you were waiting to ask something. Uh, Carly, what do you think is the biggest concern for homeowners as they go into a new project? You know, a lot, a lot of people do this, this big remodel in their life, so they come in and they're like, where do I start? So that's where we start um, and kind of walk them through the process and give them a project timeline to say, all right, this is our general timeline, so you can be relieved, we'll help you sure. get through this. And imagine it's intimidating. Yeah, and overwhelming. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> That's a lot. This is a beautiful showroom. Thank it's you. so fun to look yeah. around when I saw the entryway and that old stove. <laughs> Super cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, cool. So what is the coolest new thing right now that for your clients? Hands down, it is the galley sink. Okay. Um, we are fortunate enough to be the only galley sink dealer in South Central Wisconsin. Really? So, yeah, and, it, and it's, I think, changing the way that you function in your kitchen. Um, we'll have to show you a little bit more. About oh, yeah. Love to see yeah. It. yeah, definitely. I don't know what that is. Yeah. So, very cool stuff. And, you know, I, I, we're in the kitchen, so we got all these kitchen questions for you. So, I know a lot of people do kitchen remodeling. Um, there's all kinds of different things, I'm sure, that people are thinking about doing, but I bet you there's some things, you know, when they come to you and find out more that they might even be surprised are things that turn out to be their favorite things. So mm -hmm. um, in your experience, are there some like really cool, unique things that people have really loved? Yeah, guys? you know, even even the simplest things like your um, pull out waste and recycling bin, <laughs> people get so excited about because <laughs> then your recycling's not sitting on the counter until you take it out to the bin or, yeah. you know, it's, Sometimes it's, it's the something little things simple. that make your yeah. life so much better, yeah. right? Like yeah. stuff like that. Anything so. else that's like really cool? Yeah, I mean, there's a ton of different really neat storage solutions that are inside some of these cabinets. So it's it's yeah. kind of finding out which ones will help help you and and. So you got to come out and check it out here. Yeah, this come out. Help Carly <laughs> show you around because there's so much cool stuff in here and mm -hmm. it's hard to capture it all on on film. But I mean, you guys just have so many great little things and for folks who are wanting some more storage space or mm -hmm. just little things like that, like not wanting their recycling out on the counter. <laughs> yes, please. It's tiny. Help us. But it's exciting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, do, what do you find are the biggest obstacles that homeowners go through when starting these new projects? 
There's, there's obstacles when it comes to the, the design and function itself, the layouts also in the demo. So there's, there's a lot that goes into it. So we just kind of, every project is different and we just are there to hold your hand. Yeah. For, for My mom is obstacles. knocking out a wall in yeah. her kitchen yeah. currently. That's gotta be a huge one. Yeah, exactly. Is it load bearing? What's inside? Mm -hmm. You know, how long has the house been standing? And can we do it? This is why we need you. We don't know these things, <laughs> we need you. <laughs> yeah. You're obviously passionate about helping these folks. That's so cool. Yeah. So what's a, a rewarding project maybe, uh, and why was it so rewarding for you? You know, I can't even narrow it down to one because I mean, there, there's, there's a handful that really spark in my mind, but in the end, it's after the project's complete and I go back to like see the space and they go, wow, this layout has really changed the way that we're living or, or the, the, the little things like we were talking about. Um, that they're so excited about and happy about and you can see that their life is kind of better. The before a, and yeah, after is yeah, always so cool fun, yeah. to look at. Yeah, and yeah. that's what we love looking at yeah. too, isn't it? When you, you think about the before picture and then you get to see the after. Anytime mm -hmm. you, you get to see that transformation, that is just such a cool part yeah. of getting to do this stuff. So you guys get to deal with that all the time. That right, must be so incredibly rewarding. rewarding. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, we're so pleased to have gotten to be here for for our very first couple of Girl Talk shows and we're so glad to have you guys on our show and get to be in this space because you guys have so many cool finishes and all these cool fixtures and I'm pretty sure that each and every one of us and probably everyone watching at home <laughs> has now a list of everything that they need for their house um, if you didn't already have one, right? Mm -hmm. so. Um, we can just, help with that. Yeah. So, <laughs> come see Carly and the experts over here at Bella Domicile. And the galley sink. They, yeah. And the galley sink. you got to see the galley sink, yeah. right? Okay, yeah. so the coolest things around. Well, just such a pleasure to be here. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Yeah. And can you guys believe we're already out of time? I mean, the show just, <laughs> just runs by so quickly. But, guys, we have just had so much fun getting to check out all these wonderful businesses and get to spend some time here at Bella Domicile. And there is lots more girl talk coming up for the season. So you guys got to have to check us out. We're going to be on all throughout the week. And we are all so very excited to be here. So that's it for us for girl talk. You guys check us out next time. Thanks so much.